welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. I'm so glad you're here. I just want to let you know I'm going to be on camera, clearly, and I'm going to be speaking without a mask on or a card in front of my face. So if that's something, if gnarly teeth freak you out, then this is probably not the video for you. Okay. Hello, beautiful creatures. Welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name's Amy, and I'm so glad you're here today. I hope you're doing well. If this is your first time to my channel. Hi, guys. How are you? It's so good to have you. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. I love to have you as a member of my tribe. If you're a returning subscriber, what's up, guys? How are you doing? I appreciate you. I always enjoy connecting with your energy. Okay, today I was told to do this Oracle of the Day on camera. Um, Lilith is going to come through with some messages, so um, I'm going to be starting off with the um, Nightmare Before Christmas Oracle deck. So I hope you guys are doing well. It's been a while since I've I've done any kind of readings on camera. So yeah, I think that's going to happen more and more. So um, eventually, these dailies are probably going to be live. And um, right now, <laughs> Lilith is trying to get me to do. A midnight magic reading live and it would be at night so around midnight so hence the name <laughs> anyway I hope you guys are doing well Oop. I'm still shuffling so sometimes I shuffle for a bit it helps get the energy so let me just connect here What do we want to say? What do you want to say? Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm going to show you the cards. I'm just getting them out right now. And, um, okay, so let me go ahead and pull some. Let me move on. I don't know why I have all these cards stacked up over here. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'll show them to you in a minute. I'm just gonna, I'm trying to connect and uh, get a feel for what's going on here. We have uh, the two of candles, the six of candles, let me count, or nine, maybe it's nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of candles, okay. So we have the wounded warrior card, we have the two of needles, that's a deep reflection card, a pathway. Um, beginning a pathway or um, trying to make a decision about which way to go. We have the Knight of Candles as well, which is the Knight of Wands, um, which is a great card. Um, the Ace of the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Candle, Knight of Wands, they're great cards. Um, there are echoes of victory in it for both of them, both those cards. So um, that's a great energy. And then we have the Knight of Needles, which can be a little aggressive. Knight of Swords. So let me go ahead and get some more oracles and. I'll get some oracles and then we'll I wish you guys could talk back to me and that's why I'd like to do this live but I also don't know if I can talk whoops talk and do this at the same time so um, I haven't read or done sessions with anyone live or in person like this so um, it's kind of a new experience for me so y'all be nice <laughs> okay we have illumination Ah, eternal love, and we have dawn, a night, light after the darkness. Okay, all right, so let me show them to you. We have the four of candles, pretty sure that's four, yeah, four of candles. We have the nine of candles. These are all wands, the candles are wands, so keep that in mind. Two of needles, and we have the night of candles and we have the knight of needles which honestly um, there is a devil card in the nightmare before Christmas I think it's oogie boogie but this card to me I mean clearly it's, it's the devil right so I pick up on that energy um, with this particular particular deck so we have illumination the skull of light we have eternal love Love is here. Love is, love is, love, and it transcends physical form. And we have dawn, the light after the darkness. Okay, so I feel like for a lot of you, well, with the nine of candles here, we want to talk about this tough road you've been on, okay? Uh, for many of you, 
this has not been easy to get to this point where you're the wounded warrior, you know. It also means that you may be a little hypervigilant in the fact that you're ready to go again if necessary. You're beaten, you're battered, but you're up for it again. So um, that's good. That's perseverance. That is uh, keep you're keeping on the path regardless of what meets what obstacles come your way and that's a beautiful energy to have but it's not easy and um, we know this we know it's not easy so that's what this is about this is about the fact that getting to this card means you've been illuminated in some kind of way there's been some kind of awareness that's helped you get over your hump your obstacle so for many of you you're you're in motion towards the nine of wands you're in motion towards um being the wounded warrior and it it can be it can be a challenge I, I keep being pulled to the challenges here and um it seems like what happens is there is a shift there is a moment where you become aware of something in your reality something probably very close to you it may be at work or the work you do there's some kind of awareness there's something that you need to be doing oh man <laughs> there's something that you need to be doing that you're not you're not you're not okay with doing uh, it's not anything bad it's not anything that's gonna hurt you it just makes you uncomfortable let me tell you something the power of being uncomfortable cannot even be compared when you get uncomfortable it means you're changing you're changing your reality and um, when you get into an uncomfortable place where not I'm not talking about like toxic or painful or hurtful I'm talking about a place where you're being pushed or encouraged to do things that you don't really want to do because it makes you face some kind of fear about yourself or about other people I feel like for some of you it's about a fear of being judged either at work or you know I'm seeing for some of you on your review for some of you it's being judged by others and um, and maybe you put yourself out there and you're continually being judged and not getting the response that you want. And I feel like it's coming. Okay, it's coming. The challenge is to keep going. Not give up. Keep going. If you fell off the horse, get back on it. Okay, because there's more coming and it's going to be really good here. Um, yeah, and I feel like the Four of Candles... That the four of wands is about happiness. This is about being content. It's about a happy moment. Um, for some of you, and this is interesting, I feel like there is a major opportunity coming. It is a major opportunity, and it's going to make you so happy. It could be a shift in your job. For some of you, this is love. This is someone who's going to want the four of wands with you, which means they're going to want probably to marry you. They're going to want like. Um, a happy moment of celebration with you okay uh, for some of you and I, I usually don't um, this is like about having family like maybe you're um, you want to get pregnant or have a baby with somebody and this it's coming uh, stay the course do the work <laughs> you know it's hard work making babies so you know <laughs> Anyway, and um, we have the two of needles here. So I feel like for a lot of you, this thing that you are wanting to do or maybe scared to do, uh, it may be going towards a person. It may be reaching out to them. It may be applying for a job. It may be putting your book out there to like um, agents and things like that. I'm getting a lot of different things. So, um, and you're being guided to take a moment because what's going to happen is take a moment and self-reflect on the people in your life who have encouraged you, the people that haven't. The reason why you have these fears, where are they coming from? Are they based in any kind of reality? Or is this just the product of um, programming from you know, learning you're not good enough or you're not talented enough or um, some kind of shattering of a self-image that I feel like most of you are healing from. That's kind of where this energy from the Nine of Wands is coming from. You know, you, you're heal you're, you've healed from it to a degree, but there's just this little little nudge you need and that's what this is today this is your nudge okay so take a moment and reflect take a moment get quiet i know it's not fun to get quiet sometimes <laughs> breathe in and out uh, engage in listening to your environment connect with like if you hear birds connect with birds connect with the wind connect with your air conditioner like my air conditioner is going right now it helps you get in the moment when you connect with what's going on around you and then you can really take a moment another moment <laughs> and you can reflect on the people who have supported you reflect on your wins reflect on the moments where people have said you know what 
your work was amazing and it really saved, you know, this deal or uh, your report at school, you know, in college was amazing and we want you to go to the symposium kind of thing, you know, those kind of things. Like those victories that you may think are small, they really add up. When you start to think about them, you begin to get a whole different picture of yourself and of the work you do. Um, and this could also be love. So it could be that you don't feel like you're worthy of having someone who wants to come in and make a life with you. And you need to, need to take a moment and examine where those thoughts are coming from. Because they're not, I don't think they're authentically your, your thoughts. They're coming from someone else. They're coming from maybe the way you were raised or failed relationships or the way you've been treated in relationships. And it's just time to become aware that it's like you're getting discernment about where these thoughts are coming from because thoughts can help you really get into alignment with where the universe is taking you. So if your thoughts are, if you're moving forward, but your thoughts are still like, you can't do it, you can't do it, but you're making all the steps, but you're still like, ah, uh, I can't do this, I can't do this, then you're not gonna be able to do it no matter how hard you work, no matter how hard you push, okay? You have got to believe in yourself. And that's what this is about. This is about you believing in your abilities and who you are and not uh, believing or leaning into people's words that don't matter anymore. What people said about you five years doesn't matter anymore. What people said about you yesterday doesn't matter anymore. Their judgments of you don't matter, okay? The only judgment that matters is your own. And you can really move mountains when you own that, when you own the ability to uh, focus and not let the distractions of people saying things to you that are ugly or trying to make you feel bad for being vulnerable or trying to make you feel bad because you have a dream and you haven't given up on it, whatever it is, making you feel bad for wanting a family, you know. Whatever it is, don't allow that. That's distractions. It's almost like the universe brings those moments into our lives to test us, to see how bad do you want it? Do you want it bad enough that you're willing to heal all the stuff that's happened to you? Are you willing to heal all these fractures in your mental space? Are you willing to face your fear? Because on the other side of your fear is what you want. And that's, I, you know, <laughs> it's true. It's, I, I have experienced that. You know, I've faced a lot of my fear. And um, it's not easy. It's, and it really is kind of a solo road. Because nobody understands your fear like you do. Nobody has the validation of your fear like you do. You know why you have that fear. And you probably also know it's time to work through that. Because if you want to go into your biggest manifestation of your life, you're going to have to face a lot of fear. And for me right now, in this moment, I'm facing a fear, okay? It, and I have to face it constantly, all the time. Um, and I'm not saying your fear will go away. I'm just saying you'll learn how to deal with it and move through it so you can get to the other side where all the good star stuff starts to happen because you've been willing to face your fear and go forward. So um, we have eternal love. Love is love is love, and it transcends physical death, okay? Now... For some of you, this is a person who wants to come in, but they can't come in right now. They can't come in because you have a lot of fear about this relationship. And this this could be your person. This is the person card. This is your soulmate. Uh, that horrible term, twin, twin flame. I don't. I call it horrible because it leads people into narcissistic kind of um, relationships sometimes if they're not ready for them. And I don't want to feed that paradigm. But it is your person. It's your split apart. You know. It, it's. It's the one, okay? If you believe you can have a one. Some people, this is your two, okay? <laughs> no judgment. I get it. Okay, so, um, and I feel like we, we really want to talk about the love aspect of this because for some of you, you know who your person is. In fact, you probably talked to them. Um, but you guys haven't, um, like, made it official or whatever. Or maybe they're on your friends list or you know them at work. Or maybe you don't know them at all and they haven't come in. So I'm getting three romance um, oracles. And we're going to see what we need to know about love. Okay, new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So for many of you, this is a new person. But ah, we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay, for some of you, this is an ex. For some of you, this is someone new. And she wants to make that clear. Uh, the message is, it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay, so for many of you, you need to open yourself up to love. You want it, but there's some level of you that doesn't, that 
thinks that you can't you don't deserve it or you have to work for it or you're not pretty enough you're not good enough you're not smart enough you're not funny enough whatever those knots are okay there's a part of you that needs to overcome that fear the fear of not being enough the fear of being judged the fear of being rejected the fear of being vulnerable with another person that is so hard to do you know and um this wounded warrior card right here tells me that you can do it okay you can absolutely overcome this all right but you have to face your fear and for a lot of you you're wondering why haven't they come in and that's why there, there's a lot of fear i'm feeling picking up on within the collective about the reality of having your person in your life what does that mean well, it means that you're probably going to have a mirror held up to you all the time. And you're probably going to be asked and encouraged to continue to overcome fears. And like I said, the fears don't necessarily go away. You just keep moving through them, jumping bravely forward, okay? Then we have the dawn, the light after the darkness. This again tells me that there is a lot of promise in this work. And I feel like it's work. This is going to be work. It's going to be difficult for a lot of you to overcome and that is the point the point is is that the other thing that you want the thing that you want on the other side of fear is exactly it's what you want I don't want to say exactly but it is what you want it's the love it's the job it's the money it's whatever that is but there's always a on the road to manifesting your highest good there's always um, a moment where you have to kind of raise your frequency and if you stay at this level of fear you you don't raise your frequency you stay where you are you know um, sometimes you have to jump over the boulder you know you have to raise your frequency so I feel like for a lot of you um, the act of going forward raises your frequency but there's a need here to remember good moments okay um, remember happy moments remember moments of um, of victory that's really important to connect with those because you have been victorious in your life. We all have moments of victory, but a lot of times we don't acknowledge those enough. And so when you're trying to really manifest something big or a connection, your true love, whatever it is, um, we're met face to face with our fears. And this is the moment where you earn being a wounded warrior. You earn that title of going forward and you face your fear and you may have to face it over and over and over. So, um, but one day, it won't be so bad. <laughs> it won't be so bad. It won't be so hard. But right now, it feels really difficult. So, okay, I'm going to get, let's see. Let me get some moonology here. It's difficult. I know it is. But you can do it. There's really good cards here. The dawn after the darkness. Uh, that four of wands is about happiness. Uh, it's safe to love. It's safe for you to face your fear about love, about your job, whatever it is. It's safe for you to face it, okay? Nothing horrible is going to happen. In fact, something wonderful is going to happen. You're going to find out how courageous you are, and you're going to find out how worthy you are, and you're going to find out how talented you are. That's what's on the other side. That's a gift to know that and be able to put it out in the world because it will add an air of confidence to you and to how you present yourself. And then um, before you know it, you're walking into your manifestation. Okay. Time to give rather than take. So be charitable. Be kind. The energy is gaining momentum. Okay. So here's, here's kind of a principle that I found to be true. Okay. When I give to others, and um, I'm not talking about giving because you have to, give because you want to, um, something magical happens, and it's, it's as if your life starts to align and you start to see it, and um, your manifestations kind of pick up, your synchronicities pick up, because you're giving freely from yourself without any, you know, um, motivation or motive, you know what I mean, like ulterior motive. So it's always a good thing, um, and you'll know you're speeding up because life will tell you the universe will tell you your synchronicities will pick up and they'll be odd ones you know they'll they won't be like you can just discount it it'll be something like oh man wow that's so weird what does that mean you know okay and then we have be bold and make the first move so whatever it is that you're being called to do um the guidance here is to do it 
okay if it is something that's safe and I mean physically safe mentally safe if it's logical you know if, if you're being told to you know do something illogical don't do it but if it's safe it's logical and it just has to do with you overcoming something about yourself some kind of fear then do it just do it just hold your breath and do it I remember uh, I did a live uh, the first part of July and I didn't wake up that morning knowing I was gonna do it I just got up and I did it <laughs> I did it and I find sometimes you just kind of put your nose to the grindstone and just do it and let it go and you'll be called to do it again but next time you may not feel so bad about it so uh, in fact I think you're gonna feel really good about facing your fear there's a sense of accomplishment and celebration that happens when we begin to face our fears okay so and I feel that's what's coming in for you guys so all right I hope this resonated if it did or it didn't please leave me a comment in the comment section down below I would love to hear from you guys I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you next time bye guys